Hi, welcome back to Outdoor Gear and Skills. Uh, it's hard to believe we're almost to Christmas 2021. It seems like this year's flown by. Uh, we've been back in our house for a couple of months now after our uh, fire last year. And I had a pair of Keen hike, hiking boots. They were getting a little worn out. I'd put uh, quite a few miles on them and they weren't burned in my fire, but they were actually lost somehow. And so I was wanting to get another pair of boots uh, for a long time. And uh, a guy I know uh, put me onto Oboes out of Bozeman, Montana, and uh, said he really liked them. He, he wears them uh, every day as a general contractor. And so I went to Sportsman's Warehouse and they didn't have the uh, waterproof ones that I wanted in stock. And for about $15 more, I really wanted the, the waterproof boots. So I ended up picking these up. I got them on backcountry.com. I even got 15% off because it was my first order. So these uh, ended up costing me about $134. And I haven't gotten them out on the trail yet with uh, everything going on, the shorter days uh, and that kind of thing. But I've worn them uh, quite a bit. I've been out uh, on different people's property. Um, they've kept me dry. They're really comfortable. I've worn them all day. I've stood on, on hard surfaces all day in these and they're really comfortable. I really like them. Uh, they just kind of have a, a little bit better fit to me than the Keens. The Keens are kind of so blocky, uh, and I kind of like these uh, a little more, but they've got a great tread on them, and I, I really like the color on, on these particular ones. They're breathable. Uh, I like the way the laces are set up. It's, it's laced all the way up with just one uh, hook right there. So they lace up really easily. I was just on the Oboe's website today and read how to care for them as far as cleaning and the, the waterproofing. So it's a, a pretty simple process, but they're, they give me a lot of ankle support. And over the years, I've kind of gone back and forth between hiking boots and just running shoes, um, things like that, but I, I really, enjoyed these so far. Uh, I'm excited to get them out on one of the trails. Part of the other challenge that we have is a lot of our trails have been shut down uh, due to the fire last year and there was a lot of damage that went through our, our local area but it's uh, it's something that I, I'm, I have really liked these and for uh, I think these went for about $150 to $155 for the waterproof and being in this environment in Southern Oregon, you can see how green everything is. We've gotten a lot more rain so far this year uh, than I think we almost, maybe more than we did last winter, uh, it seems. And we're going to be raining here for the next week. Um, I always like it too when, uh, and a lot of times I, I don't utilize it, but just having that loop right there that I could clip on a beaner or you know hang my boots or if I'm, you know, camping or whatever, I can just kind of get them off and, and let them dry out. But it's, it's just a nice combination of being rigid and supportive and flexing. And so I, I have stood on concrete in these for about eight, nine hours and my feet felt great. Uh, I'm not one to just wear hiking boots when I'm not going to be outside a lot. Um, but but there's been uh, some times when I've just worn these all day and gone out for a little bit. And so I wanted to keep my feet warm and dry. Just based on this, I think I have a, a new boot supplier, um, you know, for the rest of my hiking days. I've just really enjoyed these and look forward to put them out through the, all the paces um, on the different trails. I uh, look in, in the spring to do some overnight uh, hiking up by Diamond Crater Lake area and this will definitely be uh, the footwear that I take. I was thinking about doing uh, this five-day hike on the North Umpqua Trail last year and unfortunately we got put off by COVID and just some procrastination and so we didn't get to do that and now most of the trails closed but I do have the Pacific Crest Trail is close by and uh, some some different hikes 
And as I was thinking about doing that, I was thinking, you know, I'm going to need to get out of my Keens. I just, they're not that comfortable to wear all day. And when I'm in camp or we're by the river, you know, I'd want to take something. I would take, you know, some sandals or something for down by the river, but these boots are so comfortable that I'm confident that I can wear these, you know, sun up to sun down uh, on multi-day hiking. And, uh, just, just really good. So I, I definitely give these a, a two thumbs up. And as I get out there and put them more through the paces, uh, I'll report back on, on how well they do in different terrain. But this particular pair is the Oboes. Now I have to remember, I just blinked uh, Sawtooth Mid 2, um, I believe is what they call it. So Merry Christmas to everyone. Be safe. Uh, get out there and enjoy nature.